Forget the shapes generator. This is how I add arrows to Final Cut now. The built-in arrow is a decent start, but in this video, I'll reveal four methods for higher quality arrows, including this 3D arrow that nobody mentions in their tutorials. Shall we? In Final Cut Pro, go to the title generator browser and at the bottom it generators, go to elements and select and drag shapes to your timeline. Let's trim this down to match my timeline by pressing option, right bracket. Open up the inspector. It should be over here on the right. If you don't see it, click these three sliders button to open the inspector. Under shape, change it from circle to arrow. We can change quite a bit here. We can have an outline arrow or just a solid arrow. Let's add some color, huh? And for the outline, let's do this darker purple. All right, looks good. I can also change the outline width and make it a bit thicker. All right, looks good. You can add some drop shadow to it as well. I'm gonna bring that drop shadow out and blur it a little bit more. And that just kind of makes it pop off screen. We can also change the position of it with this on-screen control but we don't have any controls to change the size or the rotation. Right click on the arrow, select transform, and click on a corner blue handle to change the size. If you click on a top or bottom or side blue handle, it squishes it or stretches it. If I shift while clicking on one of those, it will change the size. We can also change the rotation with this control in the middle and we can move the position as well this way. Then click done. Got an arrow, nice. In a little bit, I'll show you how to track the arrow to the runner so that it stays in the same place. Let's dig into some more advanced arrow techniques. Go to the titles browser and in the build in out section, add custom to your timeline and trim it to match and double click the text in the middle till it's all selected and then go up to edit emoji and symbols and we have a lot of arrows that we can use in here select your arrow and then let's customize it open up the text inspector and let's increase the size that looks good let's change the color scroll down and click on show next to face and let's change color to gradient. And now let's add some cool colors to this lightning bolt. Open the gradient bar and click on this first tag, then click on the color well and select your color. Do the same for the second one. Make sure that this is highlighted and then you can change the color. Because this is text, we can use these controls in here to rotate it. Let's rotate like that. We can also do some kind of 3D rotation with it, which is kind of cool. That will come in handy in a little bit when I show you how to make that 3D arrow. And then we can use this on-screen control to move it around and point out our runner. Let's see how it looks. What's cool about this custom title is now we can animate it. Go to the title inspector and change in scale all the way down to zero. Let's see how that animates now. That looks good. It grows, giving our arrow a little bit of life. But you know what? It doesn't really follow the runner very well. It gets close to him and then it gets far away and it kind of moves around. So let's track the arrow to the runner. Select your clip and at the bottom of the video inspector, you'll see this tracker section. Click the plus sign to add a tracker and move it over your runner. Adjust the square so that it fits over your runner. This is the area that Final Cut is going to inspect and then track. Once you've got that set up, click Analyze. Now select your arrow and right click and select Transform. Click Next to Tracker and select your tracker and select Object Track and deselect Rotation. Then press Done. Let's check it out. The arrow follows our runner and it even kind of moves up and down as he's jogging and moving up and down. Pretty cool. Whoo, are you liking this video? I'm loving it. If this video has been helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will see the video? Thank you. All right, let's make that 3D arrow. Let's start with 
a fresh custom title and then let's select our text and go to the text inspector and go all the way down to the bottom to a font that's built into your Mac. It's called Wingdings 3 and it has a bunch of arrows in it. I found it best to use this website to find and then copy and paste my arrow and I'll link to it in the description for you. But I want to use uh, one of these arrows down here. I want to use one of these curved arrows. Let's use this one. So I'm just going to copy that, select it, copy it, come back to Final Cut, and I'll paste it over title. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. That looks pretty good. Now, scroll down to the 3D text area, click show and enable 3D text. Let's set the depth to about 50. Now when I click on the viewer, I have some 3D controls here. I can rotate it in three different directions. Now we can see that 3D style there. Nice. That looks pretty good, but I want to make it a little more stylized. Scroll down to the material section and click on this little pop-up menu and just play around with all these different options. I really like this metal chrome. It looks pretty cool. Let's change lighting to above, like the sun is above it. And we can also change the position here as well. If I want to track this arrow to the runner, I can use the tracker we set up earlier. Just select the arrow, right click, select transform, click the down arrow next to tracker, and then select my tracker. And then I'll click it again, and I'm going to deselect rotation. Now I'll click transform, and I'm just going to move it a little bit closer to him, and I want it to kind of point down. Then click done. Here's what that looks like. We've got a 3D arrow hovering in space right next to our runner. Ah, oh, that's cool. The only thing we need to do now is add a shadow to the sidewalk, but that's for another video. All right, now I want to make a cool animated arrow line. Go to your generators, go to solids, and drag and drop custom solid into your timeline. Select it and trim it, and now let's make a line out of it. Go to the video inspector and use top and bottom crop to trim it down. Let's try 530 on each one. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. There we go. And then let's trim it on the sides as well. We'll go to 700 on both sides, and that will be the tail of our arrow. Next, go to the inspector and let's change the color. Now let's animate it. Go back to the video inspector and go to the beginning of the clip and move the left until you no longer see any of the arrow about 1225 for me. Press the add keyframe button and move forward about a second. Then set left to 700. Nice, let's play that back. All right, so our line draws, now we need an arrow head on there. Back to the uh, build in and out text and let's get our handy favorite little custom title and we'll trim it to match the time. And I want to turn this into an arrow head, so I'm gonna double click it and I'm gonna use wingdings again. Scroll down and select wingdings. And I like that arrow head right there, a triangle. And let's match the color. And for now, we're just gonna leave it at that position. We want to track it so that it moves along with that line. So deactivate the triangle for right now and go towards the beginning after the tail has started to animate on. Select your clip and we need to turn this into a compound clip. Press Alt G and give it a name and press enter. Now we have the option to add a tracker. Click plus to add a tracker, shrink that a square down to a small square and just move it over the edge of the arrow tail. Then click analyze. Watch this, that tracking now stays with it. Perfect, let's enable our arrowhead by pressing V and then right click, select transform and let's add the tracker to it. Select our tracker and click again and remove rotation. It's off center, so let's press transform here and let's move that arrowhead to line up right with our arrow tail. There we go. 
then press done and then play that back. Nice, it animates with it, awesome. Now let's select our arrowhead and tail and turn them into a compound clip. Now I can right click and I can move this around. I can rotate it and I could change the size if I'd like. And then I can track that arrow with our runner. So I'll select my compound clip, I'll select transform and I'll select tracker and I'll select object track. And then I wanna change turn off rotation as well. And let's play that back. Very cool, we have an animating arrow tracked to a runner. I can see this being really helpful in a lot of different videos. Ah, you're now an arrow master in Final Cut Pro. You can make animated arrows, you can track arrows, there's nothing you can't do. Now, I made another video that I think you'll like. It's called How to Do a Typing Effect in Final Cut Pro, and you can check it out here.